Hey everyone, so in today's video, I wanted to jump on here and compare a couple of cream blushes. In specific, I wanted to compare the Glossier Cloud Paint to the new Ilya Color Haze Multi Matte Pigment. I've personally been having a moment with cream blushes and bronzers. That's not really different from normal. I really prefer cream products on an everyday basis, but in particular, I've been finding myself seeing and seeking out even more of them. This one in particular was interesting because it is a multi-pigment, but I wanted to compare it in specific to the glossy Cloud Paint because not only are these similarly packaged, but I do feel like the descriptions of the products are very similar. So this review, if the demos end up being helpful, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up. That way I know, and I hope you'll subscribe because I'd love to have you back and we will jump right in. We're starting off with the Ilya Color Haze Multi Matte Pigment. Ilya is a clean beauty brand. I have tried a few products from Ilya with varying success, but I was super interested in this one in particular, again, because I'm really into cream blushes right now, but also I thought the colors looked super vibrant. And if I could get a blush to kind of give me a matte, stained sort of look while also being a cream. That to me is something that is really unique and interesting. So this retails for $32 and you get 0.23 fluid ounces in here. They describe it as a unique cream-based formula for cheeks and lips that can blend out to a wash of color or build for a richer, bolder payoff. That's definitely very much in line with the glossy cloud paints. This also contains coconut oil and jojoba oil. And I didn't realize that this contained coconut oil until recently, which is kind of a bummer. I do find that coconut oil breaks me out. So it is something to keep in mind um, if you're looking into these ingredients. If coconut oil you know is something that typically breaks you out, it is something to keep in mind. As for the applicator, it comes in a really thick tube. I find that this is very secure and it feels even more secure to me um, because the actual top of this is very tight, which it's not going to bust open. It has a stopper in here and the cap so that you're not going to like potentially burst product out through the cap. I like the attention to detail there. And then this also has one of those cooling metal applicators on the top, which is great for just swiping on the lips. As for the way that this product applies to the face, we'll jump into the demo. I would say that this definitely is a pigmented product. I went very light with it because I tend to like more of a sheer wash of color than like a very, very um, bright pop to my cheeks, but you can see it blends out very easily. I was kind of worried about the formula almost being, you know, a little bit sticky and hard to blend out, but it's definitely not. Color haze to me is a really good way to describe it. It definitely just shears out and hazes to a very like pretty soft blush look. And this to me is definitely more of a matte finish. So if you want a cream blush with a matte finish that's definitely going to last long, I think that this is a really, really nice option. It isn't necessarily like a powder, cream to powder formula, but it definitely sets down on the skin and I really enjoy that about it. As for the Glossier Cloud Paints, these retail for $18 and you get 0.33 fluid ounces in here. So this definitely is a better value if you're looking for more product. And it also has a better shade range in general. If you're looking for a specific shade, you might have a better chance at finding it with Glossier. As for the packaging, the Glossier packaging is definitely adorable. It's great for travel. But one thing to keep in mind is that the product does come out super quickly because it's just a plastic tube. The Glossier Cloud Paints are meant to work kind of like a watercolor paint. They're supposed to sheer out really beautifully. You can build them up, but they're always going to look really soft and give a very plush look to the cheeks. So we'll jump into the demo so you can actually see how it applied to my cheeks. I picked Dusk because I felt like this color was the closest to the Ilia shade that I have. And as you can see, it really blends out super easily. I, the Glossier to me feels a little bit more pigmented and you need less product with it. So depending on your preference, you're either going to like that or dislike that. I tend to like a product that is a little bit more sheer and I do wish sometimes that the Glossier Cloud Paint were like just a tiny bit more sheer. As for the formula, it's definitely a cream, but it almost has like a foundation sort of texture. So it really blends into your foundation and sinks into the skin in a way that I really like. As for the finish, whereas the Ilia is a little bit more matte and almost like a long wearing cream blush, this to me 
gives you a little bit more of that juicy, dewy look to your skin, but it still sets down. It's not like a very sticky or tacky cream whatsoever. Again, it just kind of feels like foundation. As for the wear time, I definitely think this lasts all day. I feel like the Ilia um, almost stains the cheeks a little bit more, but the Glossier has more pigment to it. So they kind of like even each other out in that way. I will say that I've worn the Glossier Cloud Paints on my lips before and I quite like it. Um, whereas with the Ilia, I feel like this looks very dry. Um, I'll zoom you in a little bit closer so you can kind of see the way it looks on my lips. I wouldn't necessarily use this as a multi pigment so though i would typically give this points for you know being able to use this all over the face um i don't think that it looks good on the lips i like to give brands credit because multi-use products are great for the everyday person so as a whole i do prefer the glossy cloud paints just for me personally i have dry skin so i really like that like dewy fresh look to my cheeks but if I'm looking for a more long wear cream blush with a more matte finish, I do think that this one is a really good option. And if you have oily skin and you want your face to look matte, but you really like working with cream products, I do think that this is a really good option. And we need more diverse options in the clean beauty space in general, because a lot of clean beauty tends to have the same finish, super dewy, really light coverage. I like when clean beauty brands come out with makeup that's not necessarily what you would expect stuff a little bit more matte or a little bit more glamorous or really pigmented people that are into clean beauty aren't all one cookie cutter person not to say in general i am not a clean beauty advocate i don't see anything wrong with it i definitely see something wrong with a lot of the marketing that goes into clean beauty but that's really like that's a whole nother that's a whole nother talk yeah in general i have to say i really enjoy both products and i really couldn't not recommend either if you would like a discount on your Glossier products, I will have my Glossier rep link down below. And definitely let me know down below what video like this do you wanna see next? These are some of my favorite videos to film. I love comparing products because when I'm out purchasing products and making purchasing decisions in general online and comparing products, I look for these kinds of reviews. Anyway, I hope that this review was helpful and definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up if it was. And I hope that you'll subscribe as always, and I will see you in my next one.